Hello everybody and welcome to Lancelot's Nerd Corner. I'm Lancelot and today is a good, good day. Because while Hot Toys really kinda effed us over on Batman Day in September, they made up for it a month and a half later with this incredible Dark Knight Returns Batman. Mm. This looks incredible. Just like off rip. This is so beautiful. I love how the first picture is um, very similar to that iconic panel of him jumping with his arms like this and then the lightning in the background. Obviously, it's not exactly, but it's very reminiscent of it. So really like that great start and just look at it. The, the muscularity. The, the material of the suit. The expression. It's just... This is... This is... This is all I could have asked for. And here it is in all of its glory. And I'm wondering if this... Body is actually a seamless body underneath. Like, an, like a Fison body. Kind of. Because... While it would be, it, for me, preferable, since the body is all covered up, I guess it's not really necessary, as long as the joints move well and, you know, I don't think it's super important that the body is like a, a seamless, like a silicone body, but that would be a really, really great bonus. And if it is, I wonder if it would be kind of like similar to the Peacemaker arms that were kind of like squishy, but also quite firm. So here we have some of the a look at the accessories. Actually, I think they list it here. Actually, I wonder if they do specify if the body is seamless. This particularly crafted figure features a new developed body with 30 points of articulation. Okay, so the 30 points of articulation. Well. I guess they kind of use that wording with seamless bodies as well. That portrays Batman's muscular physique. Okay, so they don't specify if it's like a seamless silicone. But it is what it is. Collectible figure also comes with a specially tailored bat suit with a large bat symbol and an attached wired cape. Thank you, Hot Toys. Good choice. A utility belt with weathering effects. Oh yeah, that looks really good actually, yeah. Mmm, I like that. Very, very good. Very good weathering. One thing that I've started to notice for the Hot Toys in terms of their paint app is that a lot of the times it can be kind of too clean and polished. Especially when I compared the Hot Toys Battenson to the Inart Battenson. The Inart was just like overall so much more weathered. Whereas the Hot Toys had very like kind of clean and polished areas, which I didn't like. And this looks very nice. Very nice and weathered. Um, what else? Batarangs. I wonder if that's that's all of them. Four in total. A rifle. See? You see what I'm talking about? It kind of looks a bit too polished. And clean. But it does look good. The, the sculpt work, it, it, it's an accurate look. At least from my memory. And a specially designed figure stand with character nameplate. Okay. Um. That's pretty cool, I guess. I would have preferred, like... I always prefer my Batman figures with like a, um, a gothic, like gargoyle rooftop kind of thing, right? And it seems like with this, they it's it's the same shape as the Justice League figures, display based, the really big ones. This looks really big, but it's obviously just stylized differently. Um, yeah. So I mean, it is what it is. I would have preferred a, like a diorama base, but. So they did specify also, it comes with um, interchangeable lower parts of the face, the interchangeable face plates. So these do seem to be, okay, so there seems to be three at least. So we have like a open mouth, like roaring, neutral, and this like devilish grin. This is a really important addition. I'm glad that they included this expression. And the sculpt work does look good, right? I wonder, because something about it does still 
remind me of the comic artwork. Like it looks, it looks like a comic book figure, but they added like some shading and skin texturing to kind of give it a little bit of realism, but not like they didn't detract from the original comic feel. And I really, really like that. This is why I wish Hot Toys would do more comic book figures. Please, Hot Toys, please. Because, I mean, this so far shows that they can do it. I really like how weathered the suit is. Wow, this is like a lot of dirt and grime all around. Some muscle shading, it seems like, around the abdomen. This looks fantastic. I have no words. I'm just grinning like an idiot. This is so, so good. Okay, here's a closer look at the rifle. So it does seem like there is some weathering, I think. The, uh, the wood grain seems to be quite realistic. The um, texture on the scope and the magazine. Okay, okay, I take back what I said for now. Until I see it in person, obviously. That's going to be a while. Uh, but yeah, okay. The rifle looks good. The, the, the paint app looks good. My, my fears are uh, slightly assuaged. And look at the gauntlets. Look at that. Ooh, those look sharp. And they also remind me of the... Um, you know what? I believe the BVS suit had like similar, similarly uh, shaped and designed uh, gauntlet spikes. And that actually does make me appreciate the BVS suit even more because if this, I'm going to have to take a look at the comics and see if this is really what they look like. Because if that's the case, then the, that BVS suit is even more accurate to the, to this suit, right? This is fantastic. This is the best thing I could have asked for. Now, you know what? Now that we have this, and I'm assuming it's gonna sell well, Hot Toys, I'm gonna need a Batman hush, please. Please. Okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, right? But I'm saying that's a possibility now. That's all I'm saying. I kinda wanna take a closer look at the cape if I can. Well, there we go. Oh, it also comes with a batarang, it seems. With a rope. Wow, look how chunky this boy looks. And um, the, the cape, I can't rightly tell what that material is. Looks like some sort of felt or suede fabric. Maybe it's similar to the uh, 1989 Batman 2.0 cape. Review coming very soon, by the way, so stay tuned. Yeah, it seems like some sort of suede or felt fabric. I'm not mad at it. I don't have any complaints. And I'm really, really glad it's wired. This shot is freaking amazing. That's it. Yeah, that's, a, that's all the photos. Wow. Oh, I can't help but like stare at it like this. If I was on my bed, I would be kicking my feet. <laughs> okay, wait, I, just one last thing. The ankle articulation might be a problem. Because that, that boot does not look split cut. Uh, let me go to the wide shot. Yep. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Especially because if you notice, the head sculpt is separated from the cowl. So you can articulate it independently of the this neck portion of the cowl. Which is good. So that's preferable. But I wish they could have made these boots. boots. But I wish they would, could have made these boots split cut. But it is what it is. You can still manage a bunch of poses with it anyway. And I think it just looks so good. Like, you don't really need to get in a super crazy pose, I guess, for it to look badass, because it just already does. And that's about it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Please, I would love, love, love to know your guys' thoughts on this newly announced Dark Knight Returns Batman figure from Hot Toys. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Lancelot's Nerd Corner. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.